demonstration of the law encyclopedia software. When you will launch the law encyclopedia software, your screen will appear like this. The software contains Supreme Court judgments, all High Court judgments and consumer judgments also. It provides the widest coverage as more than 1000 journals with citations have been covered. Here you can see various digests have also been provided. Supreme Court, Delhi High Court, Himachal High Court, Dishonor of Check, Consumer Laws and Criminal Law Judgments have been provided. The software keeps you updated through weekly internet updations. We have provided quality head notes also. All the judgments are categorized in different topics like civil, criminal, service tax, etc. A powerful search engine is also provided to search any word or sentence that can be typed over here. Search and results facility has also been provided. There are four indexes also based on the case name, citation, statute name with section and topic for pinpoint search. Utilities of favorites and recent files have also been provided. Now let us see the working of this software in detail. We have provided a search engine, indexes and a digest to search judgments. First let us discuss the search engine. Before making a search, you can refine your search by making appropriate selections in the search engine. Under scope, you can search either everything or in the case title, judge name or advocate name. You can also select the time span, that is the years in which you want to search the judgment. For example, let us set the time span from the year 2000 till 2005. Then the search engine will search for the judgment only in this time span. You can also make selection in strength, that is the number of judges, which can be a single bench division bench or a full bench judgment. Even if no selection is made in the search engine, it will search everywhere, in all the years and in all the strength of judges. Any word or sentence which is part of any judgment can be searched through this search engine. Let us take an example. We will type the word culpable homicide in the search engine. And then I will click on search. A list of results will appear on the lower part of the screen. As you can see here, this is the result window. The different categories like the topic, case title, bench, citation and date. You can sort any field alphabetically. That is from A to Z or from Z to A. When this arrow is pointing upward, the list will be arranged from A to Z and when this arrow is pointing downward, the list will be arranged from Z to A. Here you can see in the right side of your screen, the results are arranged court-wise and topic-wise also. You can click on any court or topic to see the results related to that particular court or topic. Now let us discuss this particular judgment which has been shown when we have searched for culpable homicide. The word which we have searched for that is culpable homicide will be highlighted in each and every judgment which is there in the result window. We can search in results also. Let us type a word for example sudden provocation. And then we click on search in results. Now the search engine will search in the results only. For the convenience of the user, the words which were entered in the search and search in results that is culpable homicide and sudden provocation 
will be highlighted throughout each and every judgment in different colors. You can go back to the previous judgment by clicking on this icon and you can access the next judgment by clicking on this icon. Now let us discuss the indexes. You will find four indexes in the software which can be accessed from this drop down window or from these four icons also. The simplest index is the nominal index. It searches a case by name. When we click on the button N on the toolbar, the nominal index will appear on the screen. Over here, we can type a case name or any word from it. The list of all cases with that name or part of name will appear. Select and click on load to open that particular judgment. The next index is the citation index which searches judgment by citations. It contains citations of many reporters. We click on the button C on the toolbar to open the citation index. This index is in four stages. The first stage we have to select the reporter. Then we have to select the year, volume and then the page number. Then we click on load to open the relevant judgment. Another important index is the statute index. When we click on the button S, the statute index opens. We will select a statute from the list given and then we will select a section. For instance, I have selected the statute as the Constitution of India and further in the section I have selected article 21 and then I click on load. Now here when I select service law under the category, a list of related judgments will appear on the screen. Another index is the topic index. When I click on the button T on the toolbar, the topical index will open. This index is in two stages. In the first stage, we select the main topic and then we select the subtopic. Once we click on load, the judgments can be viewed in the result window. The software also provides different digests. When we click on digest in the menu bar, we can see the digests which are available. This is the Supreme Court Digest. We can click on any topic and then we can also select a subtopic to see the related case notes. This icon of the hammer provides the latest judgments. When we click on this icon in the toolbar, we can see the latest judgment. This is the add to favorite icon. When we click on this icon, we can add any judgment which is open on the screen to our favorite list. And to view the favorite list, we will click this icon and the favorite list of judgments will open on the screen. When we click on recent files, we can view the last 25 judgments which have been opened. There are many more features in this software which we cannot describe in this short demo, but the best quality is assured. Thank you.